Yeah. It's another day, another kitchen, and obviously another dollar. Uh, today's Monday. Wait, what the fuck? Duh. It's actually Wednesday, 12 a.m., but Tuesday, this is the vlog where I tell you what consisted and what happened Thursday through for, through right now, Thursday through Monday, Tuesday, whatever. Anyways, if you're new to this channel, like this video, dislike this video because you're not always obligated to like it. Comment below, I read every comment, and I'm literally the only dishwasher, the restaurant's dishwasher for that fact, on YouTube. Almost a thousand subscribers, and hell yeah, if it wasn't for you guys, yeah, you watching me through that gr glass screen. I wouldn't be where I am today. I probably would still be a dishwasher, but I wouldn't be on YouTube. I wouldn't be flowing positive messages, great words, and just telling all you humans that watch me to live literally happy in a sense, just positive. Anyway, the last video that you guys seen was the greatness, the awesomeness, the just pure excitement of me having my very own hot ones the last dab sauce that sauce is just delicious i'm serious i put it on almost everything my fries my pizza my burgers my ribs the food at texas roadhouse as well as the food here at old chicago but oh god i'd like to say it was monday yeah yesterday I'll tell you what happened but soon it was a good weekend a great dish shift every day I killed it being working me the dishwasher on the weekends at Old Chicago Friday Saturday not Sunday but Friday and Saturday this is what happened I went into work I got a good Lyft driver Uber driver however you guys want to call him they were great conversations, good people that gave me a ride to work. Once I walked into work, I still had an hour to go. I got into work at maybe 4. I go in at 5 on the weekends. On Sundays it's 4.30, but all I did was just chill. Talk to my fellow co-workers, and once it hit time to clock in, I killed dishes clean. I made sure everything was clean, but usually, Friday and Saturday, the dishes are good. Everything's clean, because Mario, the prep guy, he also does dishes, but he's good at washing dishes. He's good at making the kitchen clean, and even though I only have help from him for maybe three hours, if not less, we all do whatever we can to kill the kitchen clean, make everything literally clean without silverware, plates, containers. Cooks can't cook food that customers want. They can't put that food on clean dishes for the customers that are waiting. And with even if there isn't a dishwasher, there's a wait because yes, nobody's washing dishes, but it's all a chain reaction. We're all a family. And so that's why I love washing dishes. It's an easy job, and I know I'm the backbone of the restaurant. Killing it, making everything clean, and everything go perfectly as a restaurant in general. But Friday through Sunday, it was great. I guess Sunday, me being alone, but usually in Chicago, it's a lot on Sundays. We have a group of church people, a group of Target people, and like every night, the group of Buffalo Wild Wings, which is next door. It gets busy from around, I'd say, nine-ish to close. A good amount of people love pizza. They love beer. Whatever. What can I do besides just cleaning the kitchen, making everything clean with a great mindset, being positive? And like I try to tell you guys all the time, if you're not already listening now, read the description below. Maybe look at the video. I Hopefully it's the exact video a year ago, but there will be a link of a video a year ago. Just be positive, guys. No matter what job you have, me putting these videos out for the people in the restaurant industry, 
We all, as humans, need to be positive, need to be happy. Life is literally too short, literally way too short to just be negative, to let all the bad things, negative outcomes in life just overflow our days, overflow our emotions in general. Once you walk into the doors of your job, whatever job you have, be positive, be happy. Tell everybody around you they're doing a good job because you need to have that positive outlook. We all do. It's better to be positive than doubtful and negative about the bad things in life. Ugh, really. But as right now, I ended, as I could already, I'm already telling you guys, the weekend ended, and Monday, I'm going to Texas Roadhouse, as for Tuesday, but Monday was a good shift, me and Juan, the dishwasher, the guy who sprays all the dishes clean, we literally kill that dish pit, make the kitchen clean, and that's all we can do, because we're not cooking, we're not prepping. We're making everything in the restaurant clean so that all the other workers can work and everything could go smoothly as possible. Monday was good. I love Texas Roadhouse from 4 to 10. Well, that's the hours of the restaurant, but we usually get out at 11. I agreed. Well, I chose to get to Texas Roadhouse earlier, at maybe an hour, just so all the silverware, everything... You ate half of your pizza? God damn. No, I, your pizza, it's half, it's half eaten. Oh, damn. Well, at least he munched on it. Monday was a good shift. But today, right now, being Tuesday, financial issues you guys have seen the last videos I've been sick really bad I haven't been at work for two weeks and that really fucked me financially money wise I'm happy I still have two jobs I'm fucking glad that I'm washing dishes for these great restaurants but I just don't have no money for rent I didn't make any money I was lucky enough for my mom getting her government checks and she ugh, she put $450 onto our rent as me, I don't have no money, awesome Texas Roadhouse gave me $100 so that's $550, yet the landlord still told us, hey, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. You still have to pay the $50 late fee, plus after that, it's a $5 late fee. For a whole week, that's 80 bucks. Hopefully I can make it, I know I will, but Monday night, I came to Old Chicago, like I am right now, I had my hot sauce. Like, I put it on everything. When I shake the hot sauce, it slipped out of my hand and it broke. Well, obviously it broke, it hit the floor and shattered everywhere. Sauce was everywhere. It was a sad time for me, but I was lucky that I bought two bottles. I'm almost at 100 subscribers, guys, so close. Once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm gonna douse my Carolina Reaper pepper one chip in that sauce, and it will be the hottest chip. One chip, at least. Tuesday though, we're coming on to Tuesday right now. The Texas Roadhouse is great. I walked in, like every shift on every restaurant, there's piles of dishes no matter what. But you gotta know if you're a dishwasher, you will get those dishes knocked down. Cause there's always times, always shifts when you walk into work. Dishes everywhere, piles of dishes where you can't even walk. Just keep it in your mind that they'll all get clean no matter what. I'm happy that at Texas Roadhouse, I have a great crew, at least five dishwashers washing dishes. They're all different shifts, but I'm never alone, which is great. It was good. It was a great Roadhouse shift. Now I'm just here chilling out in Chicago, recording this vlog, and once I get home, I'm going to watch some Shameless, maybe smoke some weed, 
but you guys, my viewers, my subscribers, thank you so much for watching this video, being here with me since the beginning. All the dishwashers that view me from Texas, California, Boston, Australia, Germany, all around the world, England, you dishwashers are amazing. There's some of you guys that wash your dishes by hand. No machine. I salute you. I tip my hat to you. Thank you so much. Another day, another dollar, and another kitchen. Us dishwashers are the backbone of the restaurant industry. And if you're not a dishwasher in the restaurant industry, have never been a dishwasher before, go home. Isn't there dishes in your sink? Don't you wash those dishes? Then you're a dishwasher. Stay positive, guys, no matter what.